I love crispy noodles. I'm sure we all do. I have never made it before. Yes, it's true. I've never made it. Um, my sister showed me how to make it. I, and today I'm going to give it a go and, and really hope for the best. So let's get started. So this is how I will be making the crispy noodle with diced chicken and pak choy and mushrooms. I'm going to be frying the noodles on a wok and then draining it onto this kitchen paper. And I'm going to be doing it in two batches. The reason I'm doing that is because I don't want the temperature to go down in the wok, which is why you have to do it in two batches. Otherwise, it's, it is just going to steam and it's not going to really fry and crisp up. After that, I'm going to be making the sauce to go on top. So now, let's get going. Now let's have it on really high. And now I am pouring in some vegetable oil and it's getting really hot and I am coating the bottom of the wok. I'm giving a lot of oil to this. Now I am splitting the noodles in half and I am putting it into a thin layer and I am evening it out so that it is uniform in the wok. This is how it should look like. I don't really think I need to add water to this fried noodles. The only reason why I wasn't quite sure was because you do want to get it crispy, but then at the same time you want it to steam. But I think since they are were somewhat fresh and somewhat cooked, I don't really think that that is necessary. Okay, I think these noodles are ready. So I'm gonna put them onto this towel to dry off any oil. And now I am going to start on the next batch. Now I am adding another layer of oil. To that I'm adding garlic and ginger. I'm letting it fry up first. Okay, now I dump in the pak choy that I have diced up. To that, I'm also adding the thinly sliced shiitake mushrooms. And let's mix that about. And now they look partially cooked, so I'm putting it to the side in this nice bowl. Now you're doing the meat. Yes, I am. The reason I wanted to do the vegetables first is because I wanted it to be a little bit cooked so that then I won't have to cook it as much after the chicken is being made because for any of you that have made Chinese food before, um, whenever you do make the meat, it does... Um, leave bits on the bottom of the wok and those bits are hard to get off and things don't cook properly so I thought it would be easier for me if I made the vegetables for like maybe three to four minutes and then add it to the end because you're still going to be cooking it with the chicken so it, it doesn't have to be done well done or partially done. So, I'm going to add some oil now. To this hot oil, I am adding the garlic and ginger. And now I am pouring in the marinated chicken. To properly cook it thoroughly and evenly, I need to even out the chicken along the bottom of the wok making sure every piece is there. 
let's flip it you can see all this burning that has a lot of flavor which is a really good thing and now i am adding the shiitake mushrooms and pak choy to the dish and now i need to mix it all about to get things warm again and now it's time to add the spring onions And to that, I'm also adding toasted sesame oil, which adds a really nice taste to the dish. Let's toss this all about, getting everything warm. And now I am removing the noodles. Well, it's, it's supposed to be like that. Okay, so it looks like this chicken and veg is done. Okay. Will it fit? <laughs> oh my God. This is how it looks like in the Chinese restaurants, to be fair, right? That all for you, Paul. What do you think, Marcus? Do you think this is too much? <laughs> Oh look, it's our YouTube channel. So for those of you that have subscribed already, hit the subscribe button right here. And for those of you that want to leave a comment or like it, do that as well. Thanks for watching. So this dish is called Gai Si Chow Mi, meaning it is diced chicken chow mein. So there are diced chicken amongst this chow mein. And the noodles are typically served um, deep fat fried and crispy. So I've never made it before, but you've had experience. I you. did. I was on a quiz show, a cookery quiz show many years ago. Not really steady cook, but I was on that too. But this was called The Heat Is On. And I made crispy noodles on that and I actually won. Um, <laughs> yes, I did. Um, but at that time, they were put into like a like a deep fat fryer type thing, and they came out like really sort of like really super crispy and hard. And I think this one's probably not going to be as crispy as that, which is good news for me with my teeth. How are we going to separate this? Because look, shall I hold it? <laughs> this is where I hold it up, and the whole thing slides off. Jeez, the I'm gonna kill you. <laughs> okay, tongs. Here's a plate for you, Paul. So I will be mother. Okay. Jeez. Get some of the noodles out. That's a very small amount I'm getting. No, no, that's that's good. Shall I hold the plate? Wait. Wait. Oh my god. And then I'm going to show the viewers what is on my plate. Maybe a little bit more chicken. Yeah, that's fine. Some more okay. greens for you. So while you serve up yours. So here we are, look. Look at that. What do you think? It looks very nice. I was kind of scared about making it because it's something that I think I have always wanted to do. It's just something I never got around to doing. Mmm. And it's only because your sister, did she make it? Or she, she made it, it yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. And this is how she did it as well. I think hers was more crispy. <laughs> right. Do you think it's, you need it more oil or something? I think I needed to fry it some more. Okay. Or is it the wrong type of noodle? Well, she was using a different type of noodle too. A thinner one or something? It's, it's hard to say. Yeah. Okay, let's talk in. I'm gonna have some chicken first. Me too. Mmm. I like the way you put the sesame oil in at the end because it's nice and tasty. Mmm. Yep, the noodle's not really that crispy. <laughs> <laughs> There's a bit of. Are you saying that I'm. I'm no, there, there is a bit. No, but if it was already crispy, I don't think I'd be able to eat it because. I'd be worried that it would break my teeth, you see. So I think 
So I think that it's a fine line between mm. having it overly crispy mm. and not crispy at all. Mm. You do also taste the burning from the wok. Mm. Nice. Right? Mm. Mm. There is like a flavor to that. Yeah. Because one of the things I don't like, and <laughs> excuse my pronunciation, is the Shao Shou Shang wine. <laughs> Did I say it right? The Shaoxing rice wine? Yeah, that's what, yeah, that's what I said. Um, but I think... Mm, yeah, that. I think the sesame oil has masked that. Mmm. Mmm, it's really delicious. Now, if you can manage to still speak while you're eating, <laughs> shouldn't we ask the viewers to please subscribe? Thanks for watching our YouTube channel today. For those of you that haven't subscribed already, hit the subscribe button because it really will help us this year for our YouTube channel because we really do want to grow it and grow it and grow it. This year is all about growth. Yeah, we want to hit that 1,000 subscribers and it's only if you can hit that button that you will help us to get there. And it's free. And it does mean that you will get an alert when we put up a new episode. The limit isn't a thousand. It's as much as we can get, obviously. So well, yeah, thank you all no, that's, for watching. That's the target. Yes. <laughs> um, for those of you that have liked this episode, hit the like button. And for those of you that want to leave a comment, please leave one as well, because mm. we do read and respond to them as well. Mm. And we'll see you next time. Bye-bye. What are you, Cookie Monster? Mmm. <laughs> mmm. Delicious. I think it could have been more crispy. It could it's have good been. for leftovers, too. No, but... I think that I could have made it a little bit more crispy, but I wasn't mm -hmm. sure how much. Mm. No, like it's really hard the first time you actually make something. Mm. Smells good. But I think overall, I give this 10 out of 10. Yes, me too. You're a harsh critic too, right? Mm. Mm. Yeah, I'm eating all of this. We should have more while it's fresh. No, I'm full now. Mm-hmm.